Hello everyone, Denasa here with Action VFX. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to preserve dark details from your green screen blades. These dark details like shadow and hair strands are very difficult to key out. So in this tutorial, we will focus on just that, how to isolate green screen shadow and composite it back into your shot. And then we will use that treatment that we had for keying shadow and use it to key out darker colored hair. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here is our composition. Here we have our green screen plate, and then we have our background. So keying our main character here may be relatively more straightforward because there is a clear separation between him and the green background. But our shadow here will be a bit more tricky because the shadow is a bit soft and a bit more blended to the background. So to key out our shadow, we want to separate the keys into two layers, which is first is the key of just the character without the shadow, and then the second is the key of the shadow without the character. This tutorial will focus on the second key, so I'm going to skip the first one. Okay, so I already have the key of our main character here, which I named the main key. And as I have mentioned, this is just the key of the character without the shadow. So now let's get started on our shadow. So first, let's bring our raw plate back into the scene. Make sure to name it appropriately. So let's go with shadow key. And we want to make sure to put the shadow key below our main key. So shadow is basically made up of two things. The bright areas where there is no shadow and the darker areas, which are the shadow. So that's how we want to approach it. We just need the information of this plate's luminance or brightness. And thankfully, we already have that because we have our shadow on top of a flat color like green screen. So we already have that bright and dark information very clearly laid out. But now we want to make it even clearer by adding tint. Boom. Now we have very clear display of what our shadow look like towards the background. Next, what we're going to do is we want to make the separation between the shadow and our green screen a bit more contrast. So let's get curve. And then we want to bring the highlight points here and the shadow point here. Basically, the more steep the angle of these two points, the more contrast your layer will be. So our goal is to make what was our green screen to be more closer to white and our shadow to be more closer to black without losing the softness of our shadow. Okay, so this is pretty good. Our shadow is now more separated from the background but we still have some gray color on the back there. And also our shadow is cropped by our plate resolution. So let's fix that by masking only our shadow, basically just the areas that we need. And then we are going to feather it because we want a smooth transition on the edges and basically make sure the shape of our shadow is preserved. Okay, so this is a pretty good simulation of what our shadow looks like. So now we want to composite this shadow mat to the background. One easy way to do this is just to turn this layer blending mode to multiply and boom, very nice. This will work most of the times, but it is not as flexible, especially if you want to add things like give the shadow a color or give it a bit more contrast or less contrast. So I'm going to show you an alternate way a more proper way to composite shadow into a shot. So the first thing we want to do is we want to first change this back to normal. There we go. And then get invert. Boom. So now our shadow key color is inverted. We have our shadow is now white and the background is now black. And because the background is now black, we will see a bit more clearly our edges is not properly fixed. So let's fix that. Let's reduce the feather a little bit, and then let's move the mask. There we go, looks so much better. And then we are going to create an adjustment layer, bring it below our shadow key, and then we're going to change the track mat of our adjustment layer to luma mat towards the shadow key. So now what's going to happen is our adjustment layer will only affect the area that was dictated as white or luma on our shadow key layer. So let's add curves to our adjustment layer. 
and then let's bring our highlight point down and there we go we have our shadow back so now the last thing we're going to do is we want to parent both of our shadow layers to our main key so now we can just move the main key layer around and the shadow will follow perfect so next what we're going to do is we are going to apply this method to do another task which is preserving hair details this method will only work for darker colored hair so if you want to know how to do this method for a brighter colored hair you can check out my other hair keying tutorial link on the description below so here we have our green screen plate of this woman with dark hair and then we have our background so just like before we need two key layers which is first our main key which is just a key of the woman without the tiny hair details and then the second one we will have the hair key which is just the hair details so we already have our main key here let's create our details key so i want to duplicate this plate and put the second one below and then for the second one i want to delete the key light and let's name this layer hair key okay so let's solo this and then just like before i want to give it a tint and then a curve and then we want to once again create a contrast while still maintaining the hair details okay so this is good and then let's get invert there we go so now our hair is white and the background is black so now let's disable the solo so this is what we have and then of course we want to only mask the area of our hair because we don't want this gray stuff to also being brought back with the key so let's get our pen tool and start masking only the hair details area okay let's give it a feather great and then the next thing we're going to do is instead of creating an adjustment layer we're actually going to create a solid and then we want our solid to have the same color as our hair so click this eyedropper tool and pick the hair color and then we are going to name this say hair solid okay and then we are going to bring it below our hair key and then we are going to go to the track mat of our hair solid and luma mat it to the hair key and now we have our solid filling in the white details on the shadow key layer so this is what we had before and this is after we brought back the details and that was the tutorial on how to preserve shadows and dark hair details on a green screen if you want to add some vfx elements on your green screen shot don't forget to check out our website at actionvfx.com at action vfx we provide high quality vfx assets for your vfx needs we have fire explosions energy and many many others you can also sign up for our action vfx subscription starting at the low cost of $14.99 a month. This is the most affordable way to access our library and you can cancel anytime, no contract. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comment section below what kind of tutorials that you'd like to see next. And see you next time. Bye-bye.